Okay, as you can see, there's all these shops selling these massive big statues everywhere. I even saw like a van loading a big statue on maybe. Somebody bought it and they export it abroad. This is one of the shops because they come in various sizes. So I parked the motorbike over there and had to pay the woman 10,000 dong. And this is the entrance of the park. Recommended time here, it's about two hours. So I'll probably stay at least two and a half because I like to do slowly things, you know. I guess there will be an entrance ticket. We will see. And we will see what it's all about. Here's the ticket office. So I paid 20,000 dong for the cave. And then I think you have to pay separate to go on top. I don't know how it works because nobody explains exactly here. So let's see what's here then. This is reminding me in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, you know, at the Batu Caves. It was something similar, you know. Okay, ticket control here. It's nice everywhere. Eh? Okay, let's go and see this cave. Is see how big it is? Oh, it's getting nice and cold. I mean, because <laughs> it's warm outside, you know. But in caves, it's always cool. Oh, it's quite long. And big, huh? there's even these things. I can hear water from behind me. Wow, it's really, really big. Unbelievable, that's the water I was hearing. Yeah. Oh here, here there is some stairs you can go up. I'm gonna go, I have no idea if then I'll have to come back or not, but while I'm here, I'll try to see everything. There it says Tien Tai Goi on there on the sign. Or maybe I go this way first and then I go up the steps in case the steps are to the top of the mountain, you know? I have no idea, you know? Ah, oh, it's so nice in here, look. So beautiful in here. It's beyond belief. Glad I came. And look how it's all hanging, everything. Look. Look at this, how it's hanging. See it? Oh, that man is coming from down there. Two hours, I think I'll be here four hours. This is nice, eh? I feel so small in here. <laughs> so I'm gonna go down there where that man was coming up from. There is signs, you know, but I don't know what that means, you know. Dog, dong, di, tron, throat. Caution, slippery steps. So, caution, slippery steps is in English. <laughs> but everything is. Wow. So, you can go down there. And you can go down that way. I will do both. Okay, they were connected. I went down from one and I'm coming up from the other. And the steps are really steep, eh? 
so now I'm coming up these stairs what I showed before I have no idea where they're gonna lead me and how high up they are but they're very very steep you have to be fit for these things eh? but at least every section then there is where to rest you know very 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 steep look oh I guess you can go on top of the mountain from here without using the elevator that's what I'm gonna do okay maybe I am quarter way up there's always these things to look at there's no railings but I noticed every now and then there's one of these you know so maybe you can uh, take a little rest and hold on see even pigeons living here look how high I climbed you get sort of dizzy eh? so it's better you keep looking forward rather than backwards okay now there's a little bit of a rest place and then you keep going up are you saying you keep going up this man yes and uh, that's where I came from look where all the shops are and here you can see the view very nice apparently there's five of these mountains five of them okay we're both confused now there's no way there's no way we can keep going up from so we have to go all the way down again look hello yes hello oh well have to go all the way down again now <laughs> oh well at least i done it it was an experience so now i go all the way down and see how i'm gonna get to the top there i guess or with the lift or maybe there's another stairs we'll see okay i'm back down you know something coming down it's more difficult than going up really nowhere to hold with but i done it and i'm down see what else there is the second part of the park you get two tickets one is forty thousand dong for entering the park and one is 15,000 dong to go up with the elevator so this is the elevator here takes you all the way up there it's very hot in the elevator it's got a window on the side so as you're going up you see the view Mind you, you see the view when you, once you're up there, you know. Okay, don't take long, hopefully, because it's really hot in here. <laughs> ah, fresh air, you can see the sea here, look as well. See, you can see the sea. So, once you come out the elevator, this is what you see. And I guess you can walk around on top of the mountain. They always tend to make all these things up high on mountains so I never have an idea how they actually build them and how they brought the stuff up here to build, you know? It's amazing, actually. It's quite big, eh? There's lots of noise down there. A school kids or something. <laughs> Today is Sunday, you know, so I thought there will be a lot of uh, people from Vietnam here, you know. No, not seen any tourists. Well, there was three ladies I saw, but I thought there will be more tourists here, to be honest, you know. Maybe they come later because I'm early. I don't know. Okay, so which way I'm gonna? Well, let me go this way first and then I go down there. The way I chose. Here's more stairs. Okay, here there is signs. This is the sea 
watching tower and that way there's a pagoda so I want to see it all I want to go back both ways and I go to the sea watching tower first and then to the other side and then down to where all them kids were okay just climbed up all these stairs Beautiful. Huh? Really nice. What they can do eh? from a mountain. They turn it into a park. Okay, apparently here there is another cave which is up there. And this is called Dong Van Dong if I'm saying it right. So this is what you find as soon as you come into this cave. And apparently behind the statue here, you can go further up. You okay, madam? Yeah, thank okay. you. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of a struggle because it's not even steps. It's like polished marble. But I'm going to do it and go and see what's in there as well. Why not? Okay, this is the first bit, you come in, and I don't know if you can even go further up. Look at all the marble, look. Hmm? Okay, this is the map of the park. There's a lot uh, to see up here, eh? and ways to uh, go. So, I'm going to go up here, suppose there's going to be a peak here, and another cave, and then I go the other way. And there's some more stairs going that way, and some more stairs going this way. Hmm. Yeah, you can easily spend three hours here, really. To do everything quietly and slowly, and to have a look around, and enjoy what there is to see. This looks like a rest area here, look. Hmm. We cannot be in a rush. There's always this nice smell, you know? It's unbelievable, eh? This is just on one mountain, you know? All what I've been filming all along is just on one mountain. And look, and you go down, and you go up, and you go from the other side, and you go higher and lower, and stairs. Oh, look at this now. Wow, look at this now. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, I guess it would be here now. So many nice birds, eh? So many, so I thought somebody was whistling, you know? It's just different birds. Hmm, this is going to the highest peak now. Well, at least there is where to hold here, you know? You to hold yourself a little bit. Because the stairs are really high, each one, you know, look. Still climbing. Do these things when you're younger. The older you get, the more difficult it is to do these things. Look, look how many stairs there is left. You know? But I want to do it. I want to go all the way to the top. I done it. How much sweating I am. I done it. I am on the highest peak of these mountains and the highest peak of the whole area. Is it worth it? Well, everybody's seen views, you know? It's just 
it's just a matter to yourself that you say I done it okay I'm gonna wrap up this video from the marble mountains from this beautiful area here I hope you enjoyed it there was a lot that I didn't film more towers pagodas praying places and so on you need three hours here you need three hours here okay I'm still up here and I've already been almost three hours and I still have to make my way down I am walking on these things here so once again I say like I always do thanks for watching and if you are ever in Hoyen or Danang make sure you come and visit this beautiful place the marble mountains